Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. I just got off one of the craziest playtests I think I've witnessed in a while because of the sequence of two turns that happened within like, you know, five minutes of one another. And I want to just quickly jump on and film a video to throw up onto the YouTube just to show how crazy these turns actually were. So I'm going to switch over to, uh, I took a save state of the game just to not disrupt. But as you can see, on turn 11, Red had this crazy move where they decided to take the explore action, which throughout the game they've been gaining these cart upgrade cards, which the one that they have here allows you to spend a resource of any type to move up the same track. And so what they did was they spent this red resource to advance on the red track, which allowed them to gain another cart upgrade, which the way cart upgrades work is when you draw one, you get to choose which way to orient it and tuck it into the board. Uh, I can't remember exactly how they tucked it, but that's not uh, super important to the remaining of this sequence. So once they did that, they then got to proceed with their explore turn, where they moved out to this location here, which allowed them to spend a red resource to gain a basic relic. And basic relics, the way these guys work, is when you acquire one, you can spend two resources to flip it, uh, and then you can immediately tuck it under any action column that you're looking to uh, put it under, which breaks the rule of how relics normally upgrade uh, or get kept. So like typically they would shift and go below, but uh, irrelevant to this turn, I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, what they did is they chose not to actually upgrade it and just tuck it right here because then they resolved that action, and so this would cycle out, but again, not relevant to the turn. What they did after was they were able to spend a yellow resource to place it into their location. And then they had this crazy action here that is just like a whole engine of getting resources. And so they ended up getting one, two, three, four, five, six yellow, which they chose to place in the reserve here and so what happens once turns are complete you can then resolve uh any global achievements that you've achieved or where did that card go any personal quests that you have and so that's when they revealed that they have this quest which is fill your reserve with all of the same resource ignore reserve extensions or repaired relics and so they filled it all with yellow so they scored one reputation point for that they then notified the other player that they have three cart extensions, which then allowed them to solve, or sorry, cart upgrades, which solved this global achievement up here, which then they happened to have a additional uh, personal quest, which was complete one global achievement, which they could do here, which revealed that they had a they cleared out this stack which revealed another reputation point so in one turn red was able to plan to pull off one of the craziest turns that i've seen getting one two three four reputation points jumping them up to eight which i thought was going to be crazy but stay tuned for the next video to see how purple responded i'm just kidding i'll show both turns within the same video so what Purple ended up doing to respond was they chose to take a repair action, which they also had a cart upgrade already, which allows them to place influence on here to allow relics to cost one less resource to repair this turn. And so they took their purple token and covered that and then proceeded to choose to repair this guy here for two reds a blue and a yellow and they also repaired this guy here which is a reserve extension which costs three yellow so they ended up doing both of those but because they used this they actually held on to one of each of these so that was only three so they, they spent all these resources which they decided to keep this one which uh, it's bugged, so we'll unlock that really quick. 
they decided to keep that and they decided to sell this one for the reward which allowed them to move down one of the tracks three spaces to gain a reputation point and then you know that would be the end of their turn but they have these reserve extensions under every single one of their uh action spots which also gave them the global achievement of having a card extension under each action slot so not only did they get a victory point from that but they as well revealed this second to last column which gave them a third which tied it up with red unfortunately red ended up having quite a bit more of an engine going where they were able to pull off and win uh, in the following turn, but these two actions back to back was one of like the craziest turn sequences I've seen in a game of Everstone to date. And so that's all I have for you guys for this video. I, I thought it would be really cool to just jump on and recap the two turns that uh, were like the peak of what I've been trying to design around for Everstone is like building to have those really cool sequences of chaining actions together. Uh, so let me know in the comments below if this style of video is something that you're even interested in. I'd be happy to take more screen saves uh, during playtests that I have uh, to kind of just go over some of the fun combos that you'll be able to find in Everstone. Uh, what What is the uh, the plugs that people are supposed to like, comment, subscribe, do all that, maybe? I don't know. I'm going to keep posting these videos until you told me not to, but... Uh, Look forward to the next one when I maybe come back with somebody scoring five points. Who knows? Uh, maybe this one will be on time thing. Let me know if you want to see more.